like we said, is a special, special studio for. It's a split edition of the show. So we're going to bring AJ in. He's joining us now live from Canyon. Hey, Andy. Hey, Megan, I'm, I'm in your old stomping grounds. I, I need you to tell John to turn up the heat. Uh, all <laughs> of a sudden, it, we have like cloud cover and it's actually chilly. Ooh, uh, and you're but, in shorts, no I see. Listen, I'm, I'm excited to... I know, look at this, I'm, I'm, I'm working on my tan, it's not doing too well, it's a bit splotchy at this point, but hey, give me the rest of the summer, we got a few of these to get to. <laughs> Speaking of which, I will tell you the High Plains Road Tour is going to continue all summer, so I have plenty of time to work on that tan. For the next several weeks, we're going to be bringing you Studio 4 and our newscast to you, so we hope that you'll come and visit us. Today we're on the corner of um, 16th and 4th, right here on the square. We're on the northeast corner of the square. Come out and see us. We've got some really cool uh, swag that we need to, to, to give away. Um, but we're out here for a great cause. Tina, come on over here uh, real quick. I want to check in with you. So, um, in terms of the, the food bank. We're doing a big thing today in conjunction with Red Nose Day. So I wanted Tina to come and talk to us a little bit from the High Plains Food Bank about the need that we have right here on the High Plains. Tell me about it. Well, Andy, the, the need is constant year round. We know that one in seven people fight food insecurity and one in five children. So just because the school year lets out doesn't mean that hunger gives up. And so although the need is constant, the way that we address the issue changes a little bit for summertime. So let's focus on that summer food service program and that Red Nose Day. Um, again, like you said, the need the need is there. It just changes in how we get the food to the kids that yes. need it. Um, tell us about some of the ways you guys do that. Well, you know, through the school year, um, most kids who receive a free or reduced lunch are accustomed to getting breakfast and lunch and right. sometimes a kid's cafe dinner at their school campus. But once school lets out, these kids um, are being served by the Parks and Rec program. And we address the kids who may not have transportation or are not within walking distance to those city parks. So our efforts are concentrated in apartment complexes, in the Maverick Boys and Girls Club, in um, areas that might be underserved where these kids live and are at every day to get a nice healthy meal. And we've got all that information. Uh, one of the things about the Kids Cafe Summer Food Service Program is that meals are going to be provided at no cost to the children. We want to make sure that as, as kids are out there, they're having fun in that summer sun, they have an opportunity to get fed. Okay, so tell me a little bit about how we can be a part of of the Red Nose program, the Red Nose Day here. Well, today is Red Nose Day, and if you'll stop at any local Walgreens, you can purchase a surprise Red Nose in here um, for $2, and the proceeds go to Red Nose Day USA. And one of the, the charities that benefit from Red Nose Day is Feeding America. And so the High Plains Food Bank got $10,000 in a grant from Red Nose Day last year, and okay. we look forward to getting that again in 2019. And so they're only $2, and you can pick those up at Walgreens. And if you want to pick up more information about what we're doing with the summer food program make sure you head over to hpfb.org uh, to find out some of those summer lunch programs and of course red nose day trying to raise awareness awareness for children uh, hunger you said one in five one kids in, in five. our area mm -hmm. yes about 22 percent of local kids um, may not know where the next meal is coming from. So right. although hunger is no laughing matter, we're trying to bring the spirit of joy on Red Nose Day and think like a child, be lighthearted like a child, and come together, have a little bit of fun, but okay. do raise money for right. a serious cause at the same time. All right, so Red Nose Day helps to raise awareness for childhood hunger. You can pick up your very own Red Nose at Walgreens. Be sure to take a photo, and here's what I want you to do. I want you to tag it on social media using the hashtag Red Nose Day or hashtag Nose is on. Then tune into the KMR Local for fifth annual Red Nose Day special that's featuring a star studded cast coming together to have fun. They're going to be raising money, they're going to be changing lives for children in need. So here's what I want you to do now head over to myhighplains.com for more information on Red Nose Day and to learn how to donate. Tina, thank you so much for coming out. She brought her daughter who is so excited about this long weekend and the fact that school is 100% over, which by the way, we stopped off in Harvard a little bit earlier. They're already out of school, so they got to jump on all of us. Let's go ahead and send it back to the studio now. Uh, Megan Collier, um, I'm, I just feel bad that I'm out here and you're not. This is your stomping grounds. This I is, know. This Do you, is your are you going to go over to Barrel and Pie? Oh my gosh, I'm, my mouth is watering just thinking about it. Oh. 
I, I know. If I'm if I'm late and uh, getting back to read scripts for the uh, Fox 14 News at nine, know That's that why. I stopped in Barrel and Pie, and and then I went over and got a coffee at Palace. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. You have all of the things covered. Also, I is that plans. Ruben behind you? Like, let's let's get Ruben to give a shout out. Hey, <laughs> hey Ruben. <laughs> I love it. All right, everybody Andy. Out here, Megan. All right, we'll be checking in with you guys a little bit. I got a sweet treat for you I want to tell you about. That sounds good. All right, stick around.